What's up, y'all? It's Darth Red Cool coming at you again. One more time talking Titan loadouts. Uh, we've already covered the PvP crucible area for Iron Banner trials, all that stuff. Now let's get into the PvE fun stuff. Um, here is the Darth Red Cool method. I am going to teach you how to make more orbs than you can possibly understand. I have two different loadouts that I use. Um, one when I'm by myself, one when I'm with a party. When I'm with a party, I set myself up to make as many orbs as possible. If you look at the screenshots I've included at the end of this video, you will see that I create a mad amount of orbs. And it's not about skill level, it is simply about your loadout. So, let's get into it. Um, <coughs> I go Defender. People think Sunbreaker, people think Striker, they can make the most orbs because they're offensive, but they don't and they won't. I will show you that I can make more orbs as a defender than anybody can in the other two loadouts without batting an eyelash. And let me show you how. All right, so defender loadout. Here's how I set up when I am with a team. Always use the magnetic grenades. Me personally, I like to be able to stick someone with a grenade. When I know a grenade lands on somebody, I want to know it's going to kill them. Um, the other grenades, kind of a roll of the dice. This one, if it sticks on somebody, I'm well aware that they're going to die. I can turn my head and start firing at somebody else. I really like those grenades, plus it explodes twice. So not only does it give you the first one, but it'll give you a little second detonation as well. Big fan of that grenade. I like the stickies. I'm a big sticky grenade guy. Um, now, with my Word of Dawn, how I set myself up. When I'm by myself or in a party, I do the same thing. I always have Blessing of Light on. Passing through the Word of Dawn, which is another word for bubble, grants you and your allies a temporary shield. That way you are basically overshield, if you will, for the Halo people out there. As you pop in and out of the bubble, you have an overshield on. Um... I used to use Weapons of Light in year one. It's honestly not as useful as Blessing of Light. It'll save your life more times than not. Trust me, Blessing of Light is the way to go, especially in a fire team. I mean, if you're by yourself, maybe Weapons of Light. Try to give yourself a little extra firepower. But when you're at a team, for sure, Blessing of Light without thinking twice. Um, unless you're fighting raid bosses. If you're fighting a raid boss or you need extra DPS, then okay. But other than that, you should be Blessing of Light. Um, what I also do whoop, when I'm in a party... While Forest Barrier is active, all your melee kills create Orbs of Light. Now, the Forest Barrier is your uh, melee special. So when that's charged, um, and you get a kill with it, you have a chance to create an Orb of Light. So that's one way to create some Orbs for your teammates. This is loadout to change your specs, these two trees right here. Um, I like to set my Titan up like a tank, the way I feel he's supposed to be. Agility, I don't care about. All I care about is armor, recovery, taking damage, and uh, being able to deal damage. Now, what I do with this tree, um, when I play solo or when I'm playing with other people, I usually go with Bastion. It increases the duration of my bubble. Um, there are times when I'm playing with a fire team, I will definitely put Gift of the Void on. As uh, your bubble takes damage from enemy fire, it creates additional orbs of light. You can pop out two more orbs just from taking firepower. Um, just from taking incoming rounds from enemies, it will just pop two orbs right in the center, just like it is when you drop your bubble for the first time. So that's a good way to create a couple more orbs. I usually don't roll with that just because it makes the life of your bubble shorter. Because as you see, we sacrifice um, increased duration. So you can make your bubble time shorter and make a couple more orbs. With how many orbs that I make, I prefer to roll with the bubble longer. Um, but if you do want, this is always a way to make even more orbs. So you can turn on the uh, Gift of the Void. Now the last tree. The last tree is the important one. Um, your heavy kills have a chance to create orbs for your allies. Make sure you have that on. Uh, use your heavy weapon um, as often as you possibly can, obviously. Um, and create kills. Kills have a chance to create orbs. So you have a chance to create orbs off of your melee kills. You have a chance to create orbs off of your heavy kills. And then, like I said, you do have the option to set your bubble that it will um, create orbs as it's taking damage. Now, one other thing that I do to comply with my defender loadout... I go down to my artifact, and you notice my artifact. Void grenades have a chance to generate an orb. I'm obviously on void. Like I said, I like to use sticky grenades. I use grenades a lot. They're very useful, very easy way to kill someone quick. Um, and that's another way that I have a chance to create some orbs for my teammates. So just something else that keeps rolling along. Now, let me get into my loadout, which also feeds into my element subclass loadout. Uh, I prefer Hung Jory. This is my number one PvE gun. And this will be the first gun that I take to 335 as far as a normal legendary for me goes uh, when the DLC comes up. And the reason being, it is a beast. Triple tap and firefly, you just keep hitting things in the head. You get ammo put back into your magazine. 
and also you cause explosions. You can use it, use people as a bomb. You got three guys in a group, shoot the group or shoot the guy in the middle of the group, let him explode, and he'll kill the two around him. Things like that. Think smarter in this game. Don't shoot harder. <laughs> Don't shoot more. Think smarter and shoot less. Um, I also really prefer shotguns. This is my favorite shotgun that I have. The Invective is my favorite, favorite shotgun, but I don't like to use that in PvE because I don't like to sacrifice the exotic slot. Um, but if you see here, this Strongbow that I have is pretty comparable to the Invective. Not quite as good, but it's pretty close for a Legendary, so it's a, a fair trade-off. And it actually holds one more round than the Invective, so... Um, and then this is the key. I always roll sword. You don't have to roll with the void sword, but I recommend it just for the spinning of it. Uh, for those of you that don't know, um, the solar sword is awesome. The arc sword is also awesome, which I have too. Um, but the special for the void does the little spin thing with the sword out. So anything in a circle, anything around you, you just do area of effect damage and just kill it all. Whereas the solar, you only hit one thing at a time. Um, you can hit a couple, but the void is so easy. It's a lot easier to clear out, and it fits perfectly for in a bubble. Because when you're in your bubble and things start coming in and you just get circled by it, that's what you want. So the things will just naturally funnel to you in a circle at your bubble. So it works out perfectly to use the Dark Drinker, hit R2, and do your spin attack. It is absolutely perfect. Now, with all that in mind, let's go back to what we talked about. In here, as I mentioned, for the fire team, you get killed. You have a chance to create orbs with melee kills you have a chance to create orbs with heavy kills. Well, the beauty of the loadout that I use is the sword counts as both. Now, if you're using your melee special, right here, to use your melee kills, then you have a chance to create orbs. But if you never use your melee special, your melee special builds up, and then while you have a sword, you're using your sword and not your melee special. But since your melee special is built up while using your sword, it counts for the Gift of Light. So using your sword counts as a melee kill, which can create a orb of light, but it also still counts as a heavy weapon kill. So you basically double your chances to create an orb every time you kill somebody with a sword as a Defender Titan with this loadout. Um, needless to say, you just fly through a map, murdering everything that, you know, the bigger guys or whatever you can with your sword or punch everything, and you will just make mad orbs. Like I said, also, I have the chance to grenade things. My sticky grenades can create mad orbs as well. Um, now, the number one loadout for this to be the most effective, and I believe, is the Helm of Saint-14. Rock your helmet, um, blind anything that comes in your bubble that keeps you safe, and then you can just start banging everything up. Your bubble makes two orbs right away, and then once things trickle in, you just start using your sword, you melee them, you do whatever you gotta do to keep... Keep killing and create, keep, uh, keep creating orbs for your teammates. The whole point of this game, working as a team, not necessarily rolling the same directions or necessarily looking at the same guys and shooting at them necessarily like the division is. This game is about creating orbs for your teammates and feeding off of the orbs your, cre your teammates create. If you can get good at making orbs, you will be a good player at this game. That's all there is to it because you, in essence, make the players around you better. If you were creating orbs, you give the players around you their specials faster, which makes them kill things faster, which gives you your orbs faster when they use their specials and gets your special faster. Round and round you go. That is the way you should play this game. You honestly don't have to be all three in the same area to do it. Just when you bust a special out, make sure you follow that person around, pick up the orbs that they dropped, and keep rolling with it. That's the beauty of a titan uh, in a bubble, you know where the orbs are going to be. They're going to be right around that bubble area. So you just go over and scoop them up like Pac-Man. Um, so the Helm of Saint 14 is extremely key. Funnel everything in your bubble and then use the Dark Drinker R2 spin move to uh, do what you got to do. Um, make sure your loadout makes sense, too. Like, I am using a scout rifle. So as crazy as it sounds, I have gauntlets that give me increased uh, reload speed for my scout rifle. I always have increased melee attack speed as my second option on my gauntlets. Always. I'm a firm believer in that perk. Um, intellect discipline is pretty much what I always have on all my stuff. Intellect discipline. Um, to go back to my Helmet Saint 14, though, this is an awesome loadout if you can get it this way. Um, if you notice, I gain bonus super energy from melee kills on Minions of the Darkness. So as I'm getting my sword kills, I'm also feeding my own special with every sword kill that I get with this particular loadout. So not only am I creating orbs for everybody else by using my sword, I'm creating more special uh, ability energy for myself. 
Um, also, the shield star recovery immediately after or pick up. That's a great perk. I like that a lot. A lot. Um, the chest piece that I use, this is the one part that doesn't fit my motif um, because I need a void chest piece. This is an arc chest piece. I do have one over here, but I don't like the discipline and strength. Anyway, now um, this one's intellect discipline, so I rock this. Plus, it gives me extra shotgun rounds, which I do rock a shotgun, so that works too. Um, I rock boots that give me intellect discipline as well. Increase amount of machine gun. Um, on respawn, my weapon and movement speed are increased, but I can also switch this. That's a PvP loadout. Now I switch to PvE, and now I have increased agility after void double kill. So my boots are void. I rock void. My chest piece is arc. I wish it was void, but anyway, that's the only part of my loadout that doesn't make sense. The rest of it, though, as you see, does. All intellect, all discipline. If you notice my intellect, 100%. You notice my discipline, 100%. I feed off of both of those, obviously. I, as I mentioned, my melee kills create super energy for myself, so I literally roll around with a sword as much as possible. Um, you can also do it with ruined wings if you want to, so you can keep getting more heavy drops, but being able to blind things as it come in your bubble really, really helps keep you safe. Um, the rest of it, it's not that big of a deal. What mark you're wearing, that's totally on you. This one just gives me just enough intellect. It's the highest one that I have. I usually with this one though um but anyway and then the judgment of mars artifact as i said is my other way to create orbs with my grenades off my void loadout so you see everything i do makes sense with my loadout it all feeds off of each other um my all my orb creations it makes sense it's how you can make a mad amount of orbs i usually average between 30 and 50 orbs per strike that i that i play in um, regardless of who my teammates are, it doesn't matter who my teammates are because as long as you know what you need to do to make orbs, then you do it. So I use my sword, and my sword makes me orbs. Um, not makes me orbs, makes orbs for everyone else. It's all about helping people out. And then they help you out. Now, if I was rolling solo, how I would change this up is I would change it to this way. Um, when I play by myself, I have it set up so that still Blessing of Light. Um, I still have the Magnetic Grenade. I don't change either one of those. Um, I do change to War Machine, meaning whenever I get a Force Barrier kill, because it doesn't matter if I make orbs, there's nobody here to collect the orbs. Um, what I like to do is it makes all my weapons reload blinding. It's crazy how fast you'll reload with this on. I mean, you reload so fast. So it gets you out of trouble if you are out of rounds, like especially shotgun rounds, you got to reload quick. Um, I love that when I'm alone. Uh, in this one, I... Yeah, here we go. No, 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 that's one I want. Yeah. Increase the duration of War to Dawn, meaning my bubble lasts longer, just like before. I don't change that. Um, and then in the last tree, I reduce the cooldown time of my Word of Dawn. I make sure I have that equipped with the increase of duration. So basically I get my bubble faster, it lasts longer because I'm by myself. So being able to protect myself from a lot of fire is very important. That's my different mentality. And party uh, party time when I'm playing with other people, I'm thinking how can I create orbs, how can I create orbs. When I'm playing alone, I'm thinking how can I stay alive, how can I survive, how can I uh, hit the ripcord if you will when I'm in trouble. The best way to do it is to get your bubble down, um, blind anything coming into it and keep it going as long as possible. Give yourself the blessing. Give yourself the increased duration. Um, check out the few video or sh uh, screenshots I included at the end of this clip to see what I'm talking about with the amount of orbs that you can make in this. The Defender Titan is the best loadout in this game. Um, in my personal opinion, it is monstrous what you can do with this guy. Thank you so much for tuning in tonight, everybody. Really appreciate it. Check back for more loadouts on the Titan, on the Warlock, and our Titan PvP loadout video as well. Take care, y'all. Thanks for tuning in. Subscribe to our Planet Schnars YouTube channel before you leave. Have a great night and take care.